What's going on YouTube? Dr. K N Scaler coming to you for Workbench Wednesday. We're going to be doing some um, brick detailing on plastic end scale structures. And what? how do we do that? How do we get those awesome details? There's a ton of really good guys doing um, structure detailing videos. Highly recommend checking out um, end scale dystopia, Jason Jensen trains, bunch of other ones on there. Um, but what I'm going to do is what my buddy Rick Melrose from West Pasco Model Railroad Club here in Pasco County, Florida does. And he, this is an example of some of his work. This is a piece off the Walther's Roundhouse End Scale Kit. Uh, it's a structure he built that is, was on my last layout, will be on future layouts, hopefully our next club layout. But look at that really fine detail. He got um, the mortar in all these cracks. How did he do it? He took some isopropyl alcohol. He took some white acrylic craft paint, mixed it all together. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint that mixture in of diluted alcohol or diluted white paint and alcohol, paint it on there. And then we're gonna use a fine grit sandpaper and slightly take it off the surface to reveal that brick color behind hopefully. And we go from there. So pay attention, have some fun and go from there. As you see, I just touch it and it basically is just filling those cracks in instantly. I really like this mixture. Uh, Rick said really go light on the paint, heavy on the alcohol, and it's taken me a couple practice buildings to get here. But look at how cool that is. Can you guys see that? Um, get a little bit closer. Appreciate it. So basically I'm just touching it and there goes the mortar. Just capillary action, science term, right? Took a lot of science classes. Capillary action, so we're just touching it. And the alcohol mixture is just running right in those cracks, filling it in. Really cool. It's actually really fun to do. <laughs> Doing a lot of buildings like this, with tons of buildings. But this is the Walther's uh, George Rogers printing building pretty cool kit um it's a track side structure where uh it's designed to be a print building not sure what it will be on my layout it will be on the little switching part of the layout um but yeah it's going really well so i'm just gonna keep on going and speaking of that what do you guys think about workbench wednesday this is gonna be our first video for workbench wednesday and uh, gonna try and bring you videos, hopefully every Wednesday, but at least a couple Wednesdays a month of what am I working at on the workbench? Cause I brought you a couple layout update videos and I could do those till the cows come home, but it's not always an update every week on the layout. But I do like to work on projects for the layout weekly. And a lot of those projects happen on the workbench and then they're transferred to the layout. So, um, Lately, I've been working on structures. I built this structure, did some pictures of it on Instagram. If you guys follow on there, you probably do. Um, still have to build those dreaded stairs. Everyone warned me about the fire escape stairs. And I'm sure we'll get that done at some point. Could be a future Workbench Wednesday video. But anyways, um, we're getting this all on here, getting those mortar lines in. We use alcohol instead of water. Um, per Rick Melrose, it's going to dry way faster, going to flow better, and I'm not going to lie, it's flowing really nicely. And when I did some uh, whitewashing of some other buildings, when I made the uh, mixture too paint heavy, uh, the alcohol did dry really quickly and nicely, and it did flow pretty well. But I, I like how this is going. This is going to be really cool when it's done. And... Uh, yeah, so what are you guys what else are you guys watching on um YouTube? I did a little shout out to N Scale Dystopia, a little bit more about his channel. He does really, really cool buildings. Um he built a dystopian layout uh on them on there, which is basically 
just like the end of the world situation, like a zombie apocalypse end scale layout. It's really the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's one of my family's favorite channels to watch when we're all watching YouTube together just because it's so cool to see what he comes up with from the 3D printing to extreme level of detailing and weathering. I've learned a ton, felt inspired. He's actually one of the other guys um, that inspired me to start producing some videos for everyone to watch just because I really enjoy watching his videos. And um, another one, watch every video as soon as it comes out. N Scaler 454. Uh, his videos are fantastic. He has a really cool layout. Um, and I feel like I learn something new every time I watch one of his videos. Same with N Scale Dystopia. Tons of learning happening. And, you know, as I mentioned, scientists, because we're joking around about nerd stuff, capital reaction, but I like learning. And model railroading is a great opportunity for me to continue learning, learn new things and uh, have fun doing it. So this is kind of me blowing off steam after a long day at work, working at an animal hospital, and a uh, good way to relax, kind of flex the other side of my brain and be creative. So here we are continuing to do that, trying to avoid those garage doors, don't want their lines to turn white, but isn't that cool? Just how those bricks just pop out. I can't wait to see this thing when it dries. It's not going to be dry during the video, but it'll be dry before I go to bed later tonight. So I'll go check it out and uh, do some pictures. So I'll throw the still pictures or a little short video up on Instagram later. But uh, yeah, so what else do you guys want to see for Workbench Wednesdays? I think I already asked you, but this is like take number three of this video. So I don't exactly know where I'm at in what I'm saying uh, in the video, but some other thoughts I had were um, I could work on the Walther's NMRBO 2023 contest on my workbench. I, last year, I built most of that diorama on the workbench. I didn't film any of it because I didn't have the YouTube and I was super rushed. I think I started building that thing in mid-May and it was due in or early May. I started building it. It's due in June and placed second, which was really cool, but... Um, I'm going for the win this year. Hopefully we'll get the win and I'm uh, going to be doing another rural diorama and which I think will be really fun. I thought that was the best kit or combo of structures that they gave you. I thought it could be most realistic with and uh, looking forward to to that coming up. So but yeah, what do you guys want to see? Uh, I do a lot of ESU decoder installs i do the non-sound in my fox valley um locomotives i do esu loc sound in my kato units and i think those are pretty cool that's a little frustrating to install it might be really boring to watch me soldering up a little decoder but if you guys want to see it let me know we'll do it um i think that would be a fun one and uh i could also do some workbench wednesday i do some 3d printing got a a uh, really nice resin 3D printer two Christmases ago um, from Susie, my wife, and uh, set it up a couple months ago. Waited way too long, but I wasn't at a point in my layout that I could really use the detail parts and stuff. But I started making some vehicles and other detail parts so we could do a workbench Wednesday on 3D printing. Could go from start to finish, you know, doing the drafting to printing to doing the detail work. So I'm gonna just take a quick glance at this as it's drying, trying not to knock any of the windows out. I should have used stronger glue, but I think that looks really cool. Really cool. Um, looks pretty light on the, on the camera. Probably do a couple coats as it dries. That's better than going too heavy in my opinion, but that's how we do the mortar line. So that's version one. And uh, tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment below, share this channel with your friends. When we hit a thousand followers, we are definitely going to be doing a giveaway of some sort. Haven't figured out what we're giving away, but it'll be something cool. It'll be something end scale, maybe something custom um, as a, you know, shout out to my subscribers and commenters. And we go from there. And we got, so guys, thanks for watching. Dr. K and Scaler coming to you with the inaugural Workbench Wednesday video. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching.